What is up everybody? It's Moritz here from Section Store once again. Today we're going to be having a look at this lovely section right here. It's a before and after swiper. So you can easily put in two pictures there and see the before and after method of it. I think you can get really creative with it. And if you do some pre-work up front, you can even achieve nicer results with it. And I just say we jump right into it. And I'm going to show you how you can get this section for yourself you and also add a little button and everything to it. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. First thing you want to be doing is heading on over to the Shopify app store and look for a section store right here and simply install the app with clicking on this button right here. After you've done that successfully, you head back to your Shopify admin area where you want to be looking for section store in the bottom left corner right here. Then it's going to direct you to the home area of the app where you find a collection of all the sections you already downloaded and you want to be clicking on sections. And here in our newest sections, you can find the before and after image, or you can just simply use the search bar right here. Let's click on it. I'm already owning this section, but in your case, it's going to be a one-time purchase of $9. No hidden subscription fees or anything means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever and no need for any unnecessary extra app. And it's not going to add any unnecessary code to your app. It's simply just going to add the liquid file to your already existing theme editor. And it's not going to slow down your page speed or anything. It's yeah, definitely a win. So yeah, after you successfully downloaded it, you head back to the home area of the app, add it to your don't lie theme, and then you can simply open it up with the editor right here. I've already done that. So I'm simply just going to jump right in it. That's a little test store of mine. And what we're going to be doing today is building the section for a teeth whitening company. Just an example. Of course, you can use it for whatever you want. So we type in this for and after, and it's going to give us a little preview of our section right here. First thing we want to be doing, of course, is actually putting in the two pictures. I've prepared two photos for that. So first thing you can do is actually select the height in mobile and desktop and the border radius of the whole thing. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with those settings. So we can simply continue with actually adding the pictures to our section. First one we want to be doing is the before picture. That's the one with the more yellow looking teeth I'm going to put in there. And you can see it's directly getting displayed. And the after image with wider teeth, of course. So here we can already drag the slider around after we saved it up in the first place. Let's just do that real quick. So we can actually see if the whole thing is functioning. Let's give it a little bit sweet. That looks good to me. Perfect. And then we're going to have a look at the rest of this little image block right here. As you can see, we put in those two pictures. We can fit the whole thing in the cover. Or it's going to simply adjust itself, but it makes more sense to actually fit the whole cover. So it's getting centered. The text here is changeable as well before teeth whitening and after whitening. I'm happy with that. The text color is also changeable. Let's maybe make that a bit more yellow. So it actually makes sense, even if the contrast will get a bit worse. It's looking nice. The text position is changeable as well. So we can put it up top. Let's leave it there. And also the, the cursor is changeable. So we can give this a little color, as you can see. Hmm, what would be nice? I think white is actually a fitting color for that. And also the, the cursor color is changeable. So if we put it to red, that thing is also changing. So yeah, sweet. That looks quite nice already. Let's head back and explore the other blocks. So what we did here already is everything related to the picture, but we can also change the text from this block right here. We can include a subheading like this one. 
So it's going to give us that. And for the rest of the section, we can also change the whole color of the text. So we can make it a bit of a softer looking color. And yeah, the rest of the text box are also changeable. And the last thing we can change is the button itself. So if we select that, get your white uh, tweet, and we can also link it to a product or a collection, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to link it to a, to a, cap, a random product I have in my store. And a bunch of other customization options are possible with the button. And the last thing we want to be looking at is the whole block itself. So this is the whole diff, the whole section. And I'm going to show you real quick. So if I put this to gray, the whole background is going to change to gray. But we want to keep it clean and we're going to leave it white. And we can also select the gradient for the background. That's one of our new features right here. This little gradient block can look really nice. And also the gradient is editable. So if you want to make use of that, it's definitely a great option to stand out a little bit. And if we put it to radial, we can also play around with it a little bit. And I think that's pretty much it. It's not looking super pretty right now, but we're just going to save it up. I just wanted to show all the customization options we have available for this section right here. And if we click on view and scroll all the way down, we should see the functioning section so we can drag this around and click on get your white now now and it's gonna directly put us through to our product and that pretty much brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys found that useful and if you did it always helps leave a like and maybe a follow to keep up that motivation and build more sections like this and if there are any questions always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. I'm very happy to help. And with that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out.